Hey, I'm going to do a very quick review of East Africa's Got Talent, episode 2 and 3. Thank you so much for stopping by. So the first act was of, of episode 2 was a dance crew from Kenya. They got yeses, but if I was a judge, I would have given them a no. Why? Because their outfit was not appealing. I felt like they, had, they were confused in their outfit. And whoever is managing them should probably do a good job of trying to make an outfit that you know stands out because dancing is a talent that everybody is doing on the on the that show and i feel like maybe they can do better like for you to compete there you have to have something that is going to stand out because the dance the dance was nice but the clothes were an, a zero <laughs> complete zero then the second act was that um a guitarist from kenya as well so this guy had acute leukemia and from his group, he was the only survivor. And then he had a cataract on one of his eyes. So he made us know that Vanessa Day is clinically blind in one eye. You see? Yeah. But he proceeded. And I actually think he deserved it because he did so well with the guitar and the music. And then the other one was a TZ choir. Oh, my God. He was a judge. This one will have had the golden buzzer. This was the most interesting and amazing act I had on East Africa's Got Talent episode 2. It was so cool. They had great harmonization. Everything was so perfect. This one's going to have one for me. <laughs> then the, the Huruma kids, they didn't proceed. They did a dance. They didn't proceed. Vanessa and Gaetano pressed the red buzzer, but when it came to voting, Vanessa said yes. And Jeff Koenange said no. So when Jeff said no, Vanessa was like, the kids cried. It was so painful, you know, but it's a competition you all there are winners there are losers okay there are winners and second winners no losers and then there was a drumist from uganda this boy brought the hall down he didn't even realize when the yeses were being you know when he was being given the yeses he was just standing there clueless nervous but he proceeded and his father or manager was the one who was so excited on his behalf he almost went to stage to take him because the boy was so nervous he didn't understand anything but he did so well with the drums he brought the whole whole, whole hall down i loved his act actually ugandans really have some good acts on the show you know they're not like they are not bringing just one kind of talent. They are very diverse. And then there was the acrobats from Mombasa. What pissed me off about this act was Gaetano said it was average. And, you know, like when you say an act is average, you should probably try and tell someone how to improve it. They got no's. I think they are not proceeding. And what was unique is like the guy was balancing on a cylinder. And there are people above him. And he looked so strong. You know, for you to balance on a cylinder when there are people above, you have to be very strong and very skilled. And I thought they had that. But we didn't proceed. And then there was Sub-Zero from Tanzania. He was balancing and he did it so perfectly like a ballerina. I loved his act. And his confidence, his kiswahili, his muscles. He was so sexy. And he got four yeses, so he's proceeding. And then there was GK Jewelry from Tanzania. This lady, she had a motorbike pass over her and after that she was like she challenged she she said she challenges men she's the fear of men so she was like you know what i want someone to come and she put her watch down and she was like someone to hold my hand help me get my watch if you if i manage to get my watch i'm going to give you 20 dollars so gaetano tried it he failed and she got yeses in, <laughs> even from gaetano you know what gaetano said I just made her proceed because I want to challenge her again in that act. Like, she is so strong. You know, hey, yeah, this woman. But she made me happy. She was so confident. And, yeah, you know, women empowerment, strength, everything was there. I loved her. And she's from TZ. I love how Tanzanians speak Swahili. <laughs> then there was Ezekiel and Esther. They were so good. They were doing a song together. They were so good. And they also did a solo. They were perfect if the tz choir didn't get the buzzer i would have definitely given it to these kids from uganda and then there was the jugglers from rwanda gaetano said they did mistakes so there's something with gaetano he knows how to tell people they did mistakes but doesn't know how to correct them if you tell me i did a mistake correct me so that next time i'll know what to avoid he didn't correct them he just said they did a mistake but they proceeded actually they got three yeses and yeah i hope he, he managed to correct them behind the scenes and told them
because Vanessa was also like, I didn't see mistakes. The mistakes Kaitano is talking about. I'm like, I also didn't see them. <laughs> um, that was Tycoon from Rwanda. I felt like he made a lot of noise in the stage. I think Jeff Koenange said no, and he was good. But I feel like Jeff, Jeff Koenange is so much like Simon from Afri uh, America's Got Talent, and I like how um, Simon judges. I also like how Jeff did it. He would have gotten a no, but either way, he proceeded. And then there was Adzon from Kenya. This, this guy's got a no from Gaetano, and he was also good. And then there was David from Uganda. He did beatboxing, and that was amazing. So those were the ads from East Africa's Got Talent episode 2. Yeah, so let me go to <laughs> episode 3. Upload it. I have a problem breathing. I don't know why I can't seem to relax. <sighs> yeah. Let's go to episode 3. <laughs>